Hey, it's your boy Crypto Expert Live, back with another video. In this video, we're going to talk about AI computing chain called Swan Chain. It's an Ethereum layer 2 and has a, you know, multiple products that uh, projects can use, being uh, a um, OP stack helping Web3 uh, projects integrate storage computing, CDN, and payment suite. So, like a Filecoin, but with more, more, uh, more products, I, I guess. Um, and this is all like in a decentralized Web3 cloud. So um, we're going to uh, roll that intro. Let's get into the video. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm nearly getting to 2,000 uh, subscribers. Um, this is actually my second channel. The first channel, um, I got locked out, um, too much security, a phone died, long story, but so I've had to rebuild the channel. So, um, yeah, uh, subscribe if you like the info. Um, so this one's free. All you need to do is just kind of like, you know, add the test net and have a play around with the um, tokens. Um, and yeah, you don't need to spend any money. So do this now because, um, you yeah, they could get, well, you will get an airdrop. Um, they're saying here, um, the rewards and the incentives um, for the involvement. So they're going to drop a total of 3 million tokens. And then here underneath is a transaction drive program. Active users generating transactions on the test net will earn uh, SWAN tokens. So um, worth doing because you could get something, you know. So the first thing you have to do is you're going to have to add, uh, well, actually, no, you'll have to, get some Sepolia ETH because um, we need Sepolia ETH and then we need the SWAN token. So to get Sepolia ETH, this is testnet ETH, um, you just need to go to this link here, Sepolia POW. There's a, there's a bunch of faucets out there. Um, I like this one because it's guaranteed. However, what it does is it uses your um, CPU power. Um, uh, to actually start um, mining so it's using your resources of your computer and the minimum is 0 0.5 so this takes about five minutes and then once you've got it you definitely will get it it's not like other ones where you go go through different hoops and yeah anyway so i like to use this one so i've already done it so i'll just stop it um because uh, i've done that already so do that and then this will go to your uh Sepolia ETH uh, address. Now I'm assuming you've already got it in MetaMask, but if you haven't, um, just come into uh, Chain List and then click. Make sure you click on this. People forget to click on this and then they can't find it. All right. So you just type in Sepolia ETH. Okay, so this, this is it here. Sepolia. All right. ETH. This is the one you want to. Uh, Come along here and connect up your wallet, okay? So then it'll appear once you've um, added the chain, if you're not already, uh, it'll still appear either way if you've done the faucet or haven't done the faucet. Um, yeah, if you've added it and then do the faucet, it'll appear. If you do the faucet first and then add this, doesn't matter, it'll still appear, all right? And then, um, so you get your uh, Sapoli ETH and then you're good to go. Now, and what you need to do is you need to bridge this over to their chain because they've got their own chain um, and to do that you need to do, uh, go to their bridge which I'll put the link below um, you can find it on their website too I believe yeah their bridge here okay top right top bar, bar. and then just go deposit connect up your wallet and just put whatever um, you want to bridge over um, I've already done it but I'm just going to show you an example here and then just go deposit and then uh, sign off on this, okay? Wait a couple of minutes, and then this should this should um, move over. So we're using Sepolia ETH for the gas, right? And then we're going to get the Swan token. So there are two different two different tokens, okay? Just so you understand for new new people out there. So um, then what we need to do next is we need to um, add the uh swan chain all right 
And to do that, all you need to do is just come along here to the MetaMask again. Now we need to do this manually. I, I, I don't believe it's in the, uh, it could be in, hang on, Swan. I don't know if it's in, uh, yeah, it's not in Chainless, so hang on. Yeah, it's not in Chainless, so you have to add this manually. And to do that, go to your MetaMask here, and then click these three dots at the top, right? And then click Expand View, okay? Once you get to Expand View, it's going to come with like basically a web version. The reason we do this is because you're going to try to add all this information here. And as soon as you click off the page, the web MetaMask is going to disappear. That's why you do the web version, okay? So then once you go here, once you got the web version, then do it again. Click the three dots and then go Settings. Then come down, go Networks. Then go Add Network add manually once you got this then you basically can just substitute all this into this which yeah i've got it open so i'll just show you for uh, any new people out there as well make sure you do the right one right <laughs> i know it's obvious but i mean i've made this mistake in the past right so you want to do the corresponding right so the name will be the swan chain rpc will be this the next one is chain id um and then see there you go i've stood there you go just by making this tutorial i made a mistake try to talk and do something you, you you do make mistakes trust me it's not that easy um the symbol is going to be swan okay and then the block explorer is optional this is it going to be here right there you go see then you click save now i've already done that so i'm not going to save it again so once you've got that, now you, we need to go to their Discord. So you have to join the Discord, you have to verify your Discord um, first. Um, you need to just go through that process um, and then click some buttons or type in some letters to verify you're not a bot. Then when you've done that, under keep scrolling down until you see the, the channel here that says Swan Testnet. And then you click on Swan Faucet all right and then just scroll down and then what you need to do is you need to type in this you go dollar sign swan underscore faucet space then your wallet okay so metamask obviously um your wallet address is here right click to copy then you would just come here right and then you copy this and then you go to discord paste it in here and then just click enter now i've already done it so i'm not going to do it again just wait a few minutes and then that should arrive into your uh swan wallet uh metamask wallet so we could click here and go swan switch it over um there it is there there it is there okay so now that we've done that all you need to do now is just to copy your address and see I've already done it send it to yourself send it to yourself three or four times I'll show you just go copy your own address click send and then click actually you don't have to click your own address because you can just send it to the same account MetaMask just prompts it so one go here and then just don't click Mac just click like I've got 0.16 I'll just go 0 0.01 and then click next so you're just sending this to yourself but it's still gonna show up on the blockchain see that's all we're doing is registering something on the blockchain that's what's um, important here because um, that's kind of like what you want to do if we want to go to along here and find your wallet address There we go. See, so we're just finding our own wallet address on the blockchain. And on MetaMask, you can see I've done four transactions. On the Explorer, you see I've done four four transactions. So that's all we want to do. We just want to say, you know what, we've used their testnet. Um, we've done some transactions on the testnet. And as you can see here, we've done them. 
and and that's kind of like the beginning of the process okay then that's pretty much it that's all you need to do now um there are some other things here if you go on their link tree which is uh, obviously you have to join their twitter but keep on calling i'm just going to call it twitter i'm not going to call it x go to the website i'll put all the links below okay and then scroll down and find their twitter down here okay so just you just have to be very careful what you click okay especially on twitter as well because you you can click around and start to clicking on links that you think it is and then you can connect your wallet and then boom it gets drained so you have to be super careful what you're clicking but this is their link tree which you can find on their uh right here right on their twitter and you can have a bit of a play around like kind of go through these links to find out more stuff all right documentation and all this sort of stuff um their medium if you go along in their medium um they did rebrand um I had a look at their medium and they've been going this project's been going since 2021 may 2021 and then they got a rebrand so it looks like they um got some funding here by binance labs and a few others and now they've rebranded to swan you know what i mean so now they're basically going to be like a file coin with more so yeah this is like an infrastructure play i, I would definitely do this this looks um pretty good and now i'm not saying it's like a file coin um uh, uh, uh as in um it's like exactly like filecoin as in the uh, price okay it's it, the project is like filecoin right but it's it's got more bells and whistles basically but i'm not saying that it's going to go to five dollars 47 okay um again you know total supply is um two billion so you know this is what i'm saying you can do, come along here and do some more research beyond just watching my video right so the more information that you can gather about projects like this, um, the more information that you're going to have and be able to make a more intelligent decision. Um, see, they've already had their uh, Jupiter test net, and now it looks like we're doing the Saturn test net. Maybe, yeah, yeah. So we're we're in the test Saturn test net phase here, and it says here, see. Participate in various programs and activities in up to 3,000 SWAN. So this is kind of like you want to do this one because this one is an infrastructure play and it's got some big backers behind it, all right? Plenty of money to build this out, okay? They're the funding. A lot of people there put money behind this. And, you know, like, I, like again, I'm not saying it's going to be like a Filecoin, but Filecoin, I remember when Filecoin launched, Okay, back in 2000 and what, seven, 18, I can't remember, but it was back in the day. Like This is like the OG days, right? The ICO days. Everyone remembers that. Now, Filecoin was one of the biggest launches. It was absolutely crazy. And, um, and the good thing about infrastructure plays is the, the way they make money. Now, it's down, obviously, right? But look at, look at Filecoin when it mooned. It was like $189. People bought at the top. Now it's like $5.22. You know what I mean? So you can see the hype of this thing when it first launched. It was massive. I remember this. But, um, you know, uh, this is kind of like, a, you know, sort of getting in the ground floor of Filecoin, even though they've taken a couple of years. They probably ran out of money. Now they've got some new money coming in to build it out. So check it out. Do the test net. Um, and then uh, I'll keep you updated on this one. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.